Okay, we're back at it today. And our next step is to remove the camshaft position sensor. I think this is that 10 millimeter bolt right there. And then down lower, crankshaft position sensor. These look like eight millimeter bolts and strangely, they kind of look loose already. Maybe that's just the cover. Well, we'll find out. Eight millimeter studs where this thing bolts up to the engine cover. There's one. And two. And that's that guy right there. Pretty dirty down there, people. Well, it's leaking oil, and that's what this job is all about. It appears to lift straight out. Man. I have to disconnect the wire first. Plastic tab. Slide that guy out of the way. Another step is to remove the oil filter, which is that red thing down there. I'll certainly be making an oil change part of this project. Who put this on so tight? Oh, I did. I don't use a wrench when I put it on. I just hand tighten it. But by that time you go to change it, it's pretty darn tight. Maybe it's because I'm turning the wrong way from my upside down perspective. I think I was. Moron. This should be one of the easier parts of the job. Should be. But I managed to make it more complicated. One of my gifts. Okay, we've come to the part of the project where we need to remove the crank pulley and the damper. It's a 21 millimeter bolt and I have connected a breaker bar with an extension. <clears throat> and I have it positioned against this block of wood. And my idea for breaking that loose is I've reconnected the battery and I'm going to get in the vehicle and momentarily for just a split second, turn the key to the start position. And hopefully, that's going to so serve to break loose that bolt, which otherwise is pretty difficult to get off. So it should be interesting. Let's see what we can do here. Yes, 
just for a split second. Just that much. Did we get it? Indeed we did. That's beautiful. That's a nice little trick. And there's that big guy right there. We got him off. <clears throat> All right, well, what I did next after breaking loose that, that bolt is I removed the one, two, three, four, 13 millimeter bolts to take off this pulley. Now before I did that, it may not be real visible to you, I used a marker to mark here and then also on the damper so that I can put it back in the exact same place. And what I'm going to do now is try to remove this damper, harmonic balancer. And I happen to remember that I had a harmonic balancer puller that I haven't used in years. And I'm hoping that's going to help me get this off without too much trouble. So I've already put it in place and now it's a matter of turning this this uh, this top nut here on the on the tool. And hopefully it will pull that thing right off for us. indeed that worked like it's supposed to man I'm glad I recalled having this tool I'd have been stuck without that so there's the there's the end of the crankshaft and uh, now we can uh, I think go about taking off that uh, timing chain cover that front cover is what this is all about well there were a few more bolts for the engine cover timing chain cover that I had to take off but I want to go underneath and show you one more that is going to be you're going to be tempted to overlook I took off the the oil filter oil pump uh, mechanism and there's one more bolt right here that's going to come off with a six millimeter Allen key. And as covered with oil as it is, and as hidden as it sort of is behind the oil filter housing, which I removed, this one would be very easy to overlook. And cause undue frustration so it's great to have found that thanks to the manual and to get it out with the six millimeter hex key and now I think we're about ready to take this engine cover off well I haven't got it timing chain cover off yet and uh, some of those bolts that I'm having trouble to get out and this one is seized in I actually broke it off so 
it's loose except for that one spot and it's a little bit uh, frustrating because it's, it's kind of frozen on there. I'm going to have to figure out how to get it unfrozen and get this thing off. Then I'm going to have to hope I can get that stud out and get a replacement. So it's an old car and kind of challenging to work on, but we're going to get it done. Well, the cover's off. That's the good news. Was able to pry it off to a certain extent, but then I couldn't get it anymore. I actually took a hacksaw blade and cut that one remaining post where it was frozen up. Now I'm going to have to hopefully be able to get this post out. And here's the here's the cover. So hopefully, with all my prying and banging. I haven't compromised the surface either on the cover or on the engine block. Hopefully I'll be able to grab this post and get it out. Alright, that means the demolition part of this job is complete. Now it's about cleaning and getting it put back together with a new gasket. Well, I can understand now that I have the engine cover off why the manual says you must remove the oil pan or engine damage will result because of the difficulty in keeping debris from falling inside the oil pan here. I get it now. In fact, I even see some little bits of junk that have fallen down in there which you may not be able to see. Nonetheless, <clears throat> the work involved in removing the oil pan is not something I'm going to do. But I do have to come up a way that I can clean this area, clean out all the old gasket material without it all falling into the oil pan. And I think I'm just going to slide a rag underneath the uh, timing chain there and hope that it's going to catch all the stuff that falls and keep it from going into that oil pan. The gasket kit that I bought says to take a razor knife and cut the gasket right here and right here. But there is no gasket here. All that was here between the bottom of the engine cover and the oil pan was the uh, RTV gasket silicone sealant. So I'm wondering if this cover has been off before, maybe in the past. I know the heads, head job, head gasket job was done on this and the heads resurfaced. Perhaps they had it off at that time. That was a bunch of years ago. So that's what's going to go here. I got to clean this off and we'll use silicone gasket maker for that junction right there. So. I am going to try to take this rag and put it in down here low and I will spend some time now cleaning this area before getting ready to install the engine cover. So that's next. And then probably I will <clears throat> put before I put the cover on try to just use some oil pouring oil straight down in here opening up the drain valve of the oil pan flushing out some of the little debris that may have fallen in there. That's the best I got people so let's get going with that job.